Well, good day, Tube. She's a frosty cold one this morning here, so uh, I figured let's go uh, maybe try some grimy old cold start things there, see how the truck is with the really cold. Um, the other day when it was chuggling the luggling away there, it was uh, minus 9, so it's even colder today, so let's go... Um Let's go try, try her out. We'll try that. We'll try a couple of tractors and uh, well, we'll see what else we can get going. Maybe the old van or something. Well, left this fella out here last night and uh, Forgot to put him in actually, more than anything. But uh, see if he'll fire up today. Ooh, she's cold. Oh wow. I didn't think that would have a problem. Hmm. It's got lots of smoke coming out. Try that again there. Well, took a bit, but she went. I want to put it back inside, actually. First time I've ever actually had an issue with that starting, I think. But anyways, let's try uh, this fella here. Seeing what it'll do. She's all frosted up and stiff. Ugh. Pop this thing for a sec. Idle down fast. Sitting around a thousand though. So far so good. It's funny, it'll run like 20 seconds and then start chuggling. It's like it's when it first starts reading the sensors or something. Hmm. Probably frozen. Oh no. Hmm. Seems okay-ish. Hmm. That's weird, eh? Some days it's just like, nope. I got a hiccup and I'm freaking sticking to it. And it just, oh, you know, seems fine today. If that's some kind of air leak somewhere, it would do it every time, wouldn't you not think? Like, I don't know. Freaking mystery, I'll tell you something that's intermittent so it's almost like a sensor or something that's you know working today not working tomorrow but you'd think then too if it was not gonna work it's not gonna work if it is gonna work it is gonna work I don't know that seems fine weird uh -huh. okay I'll just let this sit here warm for a little bit. And uh, I don't really want to start it and shut it off. Yeah, it seems to be fine today. Chuggling away there pretty good. Hmm. Well, let's run this tractor down. Actually, we'll let him warm up a few more minutes. Maybe we'll uh, try firing up the... Uh, I don't think there's any point in trying that Jeep today. I don't think it's going to go at all. Maybe I'll give her a little snap for you. <laughs> Pretty darn cold. I wonder if this... Uh, the old van will start again here. What do you think? The doors... Oh, must have locked. Ugh. Crunchy. Okay. Actually, somewhat warm in here. Everything's all frosted though. Here we go. Maybe. Oh, she gave a little kick. Oh.
Better go with this one. This battery screwed, I think. Uh-oh. <laughs> Look at the gauge is just going crazy, eh? No, not battery. Oh, well. No, she's not gonna go today, boys. Probably if the battery was right up on that uh, van, it probably would have gone. It was darn near close there, but you gotta also think you gotta have enough power to crank it in for it to spark too, so she ran out of that pretty quick. This poor feller, oh, I don't know, boys. Oh, wow. Looking good. Hmm. <laughs> I don't think it's cranking over fast enough either. Poor thing. Hmm. Oh, there you go. No. Well, I got one little trick to try here. And I don't know if it's gonna work for it or not, but uh, let's try her and see here if I can get the hood open. Hmm, if we pop this off. Sometimes I've noticed this thing, it just doesn't get enough air. It's probably got a little bit flooded there. Or there's a mouse living in here. Oh, I can smell the gas. <laughs> now if that will stay open for us. Hmm. Might help. Or not. I don't think she's got enough juice, boys. Oh, that's interesting. No. The battery's hurting in this one too, I guess. Hmm, pretty cold. Pretty darn cold. Well, I guess I'll put this thing back together for now. Well, we've got really much to plow today. Got a little hair bit of a snow last night, but it's not even enough to do anything with. Ah, uh, damn it, high range. Actually, there might be a bit of a parking lot I didn't finish up yesterday, so we'll maybe check that out.
don't blast the snow, you know, so I can really make her work good. Sun's still melting stuff off. Anyways, let's 
see if this thing will fire. Oh, just barely. Just barely. Poor feller. Oh, look at that cloud. The plumage. The plumage. Well, it went though. Surprise. I don't know if much colder though. It's rear, 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 rear. pretty slow there. But uh, yeah. She seemed to be pretty good. Let him run a minute. So it idles down, I guess, and then uh, shut her off. We don't really need it running today, so. You want to definitely let her run for a bit until uh, the hydraulics would be uh, warmed up a bit. Another cold thing, too, right? Holy cold. Still smoking a bit. Pretty cold, I guess. Stinky too. I'm gonna go back over this side. Wind's coming from this way. Man, I was thinking of banging on some boards today on the bridge, but I don't know. I might not be doing that. That's pretty freaking cold. Might just have to wait. Uh, I think it's supposed to warm up actually the next couple of days to like minus one or two or something. So it's like a lot warmer than this. I'll tell you that sun's nice though. Poor tractor. Probably a few minutes here. Got a high idle on right now, right? ready to operate now but I think I'd probably warm it up a little more than that first. Let it run for like five or ten minutes maybe and then go. I'll well, shut her off I guess. Poor thing. Oh yeah I can hear an airplane up there man that'd be cold up there today. Ooh -wee. Well I guess that wasn't too bad we got what uh, one two three out of the uh, five so we failed on two. Jeep I kind of figured it would but I figured the van might have gone but just need a little more juice, I guess, and then she would have been good, but not to be, not to be. Probably should pop that battery out of that thing, bring it inside, and uh, put it on the trickly charge so it doesn't go screwy on us, you know, because if it's getting down, it could freeze, and then she'd be definitely no good for nothing. So the bridge sure is freezing up, or the bridge, well, yeah, the bridge is freezing up, but the, uh, the river sure is freezing up around the edges and stuff. Oh boy, it's flowing pretty good, I guess, there, so. Oh, I see the kid's been playing. Building a bridge, I guess. Well, I guess I'll have to pick those out of there, holy. But uh, yeah, she's getting frozied. A little more frozied. Oh, something's cracking, breaking and stuff. Oh, the edge ice. The edge ice was breaking, sweet. Yeah, I don't think I want to go swimming in there today. No thanks. Man, still making lots of noise down here. Let's just have a look, see what's going on here. Huh. You can hear like that stuff cracking and stuff. Oh. Down here. Down, down here. Ooh. Huh, kind of neat. I guess it must be just starting to thaw just a hair maybe with that sun, I don't know. It's awful darn cold in there. Huh? 
all so flaky and stuff. I actually see it's getting frozen out more. It's out to actually probably about there in the camera. You see it's like foggy looking. It's all starting to freeze in. That is pretty cool. Yeah, we don't need a few more a few more boards there yet, and uh, we'll get those banged on. But you gotta kind of have your your fingers out and stuff, and uh, push the nails in and stuff, and and uh, putting the shots in that uh, fire and gun there. So oh, I'll wait till she's a little warmer. We can't uh, really use her anyways till I get a bit of dirt on this here. So, but uh, next couple of few days, I think it was supposed to be nicer. Oh, with the old rig still running. Sounds like one of them boats. I like the sound of that. Glug, 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 glug. Sounds like one of the old boats that uh, sit in the water there, you know, like the old uh, wooden boats or something. Sitting there, glug, 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 glug. Oh, man, I didn't turn any heat on. That's why it's so cold in here still. Holy, I got lots of heat there now though. Sitting there running for 10 minutes, that's not bad. That's good. I like that, so it shouldn't take too long to warm up. But anyways, I think while I got this thing running, I might take a run over to Crappy Tire just to, you know, kind of see what's what's happening. I got nothing else really happening today, so let's go for a little ride, maybe. Oh, boys, did I get a smoking hot deal today. Something I've been looking at, you know, wanting to do for a while, and uh, holy, it's already been done for me. I didn't even know it. Well, you're probably wondering, what the heck did you save that much on? <clears throat> well, let's go home and have a look-see. All right, you might have seen that box yesterday in the video there while we were reloading. It was sort of in the background. Nobody really seemed to comment on it. But anyways, uh, seen these here again today at Crappy Tire on a super smoking hot deal. So I uh, got three more. But anyways, uh, they are normally uh, 250 I think, around there, something like that. And they're on sale for $129.99 each. So $389.97 for three. And of course tax, frickin' tax. Another $50 on top of that. So $440.67. So if you minus out the tax, so $389.97, we almost cut it in half. Kinda almost near, right? So we almost save half. That's pretty frickin' sweet. And uh, they're a 40 watt solar panel. And uh, like I've already got one downstairs, so I got four of these things now. Holy crap, I was gonna build my own, which I still kind of want to, but uh, man, oh man, these things are here ready to go and plug and play, and uh, it's got a charge controller too with it, which is really sweet. And uh, cause you know, I'd have to buy that too for the ones I'm gonna build, and that's probably gonna be a lot of money for, for one of them. So I'm thinking, holy cow, I got her, got her made with this one here. But anyways, let's grab them inside and uh, have a lucky see at them. All right, let's crack one of these fellers open. So yeah, it comes with, uh, of course, the panel, uh, charge controller, we'll show you that. And uh, then you just need a battery and an inverter, which I actually already have an inverter. It's not a huge one, but uh, it works. So, there's, I think that's the inverter there, yeah. That's not a very big one, but, you know, she'll, she'll work, I'm sure. Good and well wrapped. That's your little inverter there, so our uh, charge controller. Sorry. Uh, so you got one one lead for from the solar panel, and then the other one to the battery, and then it gives you all the, the duties and stuff to uh, populate that all up. So some extra foam. So if you threw this in the ocean, would that be called sea foam? <laughs> Okay, I know that was bad. And I can't remember what that box has. Oh, some more sea foam if you throw it in the ocean. So what my idea was is to um, not run my house off of this because that wouldn't be enough. You need probably about 50 of these or more. But more, oops, more or less to uh, put on the new shed roof there. And uh, run the uh, run some lights out there for when we're out there and it's dark and stuff. All right, so there's your panel, 
and uh, they don't seem to really give you much stuff to mount it to a roof. So I don't know what they're expecting you to do, but uh, I think it's just supposed to sort of sit like that, but we might have to uh, devolize, devolize something here to uh, make her a little more solid on the roof, because it's kind of nice to have it up like this, because then if it's, it's crap on it like snow, it'll melt and then run off, right? Otherwise, if it was... Well, I guess it doesn't really matter, because my roof is about that much sloped anyways. So we put it up, it's going to be even more. So we'll have to see when we actually get them out there. But uh, you could lay it right flat, but then still there's nothing really to mount nothing to, right? So, but anyways, uh, let's put that there. Pardon me, I think in here is all the leads. And they give you a little chunk of, a little chunk of wiry stuff. Man, this was a smoking hot deal. They still had like, oh. They had like one of the uh, middle rack, rack things just packed right full of them. There must have been at least another 60, 70 of them there. So yeah, they give you quite a bit of junk with it. They give you that lead with just the two ends. That's, um, I don't remember what that one was for. Once we get it all packed here. They give you one if you're charging like a cigarette lighter dewey. Can do her that way. Uh, this is a a test thing. I think they give you with a little LED on it, and there's just like an extension piece of stuff so you can run it from the roof down onto your into your Dewey. And then there's the one I'd be after because uh, we'd have to charge into the battery right now. I don't really have a battery yet. That's the only thing, but I can probably get one fairly decently cheap. Over at the place where I get my parts from, because I want to get uh, maybe a couple of those marine batteries and hook them together, so you get a little bit more, uh, you know, lengthy wise out of it. But anyways, uh, let's just unhook this feller here. We'll just do a little test here, see how much juice we're getting out of. Uh... Oh, I can't test amperage though. But anyways, uh, let me think now. Let me grab my uh, little test thingy here. Okay, so if we test just right out of the panel, now that's going to be putting raw juice right into the your battery, say. So you're supposed to run it through one of these controllers so it doesn't overcharge your battery. Now let's see what this is going to say. Jesus giving us, well, I got it backwards because I got to hook her up that way and then that way because my one lead broke off here. But anyways, it's just right there from the, the light above us, it's giving us 13.42 volts. Now, we run her in solar panel. Got some crud in it. Solar panel. Now this is going through the charge controller so you can see there's a couple of lights on there now. And put her in there. Down there. Yeah, we're getting a little less now, right? Because it's kind of idle in her back a bit, so we're getting 7.38. So it would probably be more like 13, 14 out in the full sun. Uh, should take her out, actually. Give her a little test here. We'll see uh, see what we're getting. So we'll say, we'll do it off the charge controller, like we got her now. We'll say 7.37 we're getting. Okay, let's head her outside. Okay, we're out here in the full sun. We're going to hook this back on here. 7.37. And now we're getting, ooh, 13.72. There you go. Free energy. Well, minus the 129.99 we had to pay to buy the thing, but you know, that's still a pretty smoking hot deal to juice your batteries up. So I think what I'm gonna do is maybe hook this onto the van for a little wee while here. And uh, we'll try a little bit later on, see if there's any more juice in it. All right, so we got her hooked up here. We got the uh, the Dewey's hooked up. I'm just gonna do a little test just of the battery with no juice going into it. Come on, baby. 11.95. Okay, let's hook up this feller. Hi, him. Hey. Okay. Now let's see. Uh, what am I doing though? There. <laughs> so 11.95. Now we got 
12.10 going into them. Sweet. So that'll sit there and juice for a while. So what I'm wanting to do with uh, all these panels is basically hook them all together like that onto a battery. Now I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to do it yet, but basically have four of them juicing into one battery and that should, you know, be able to recharge that battery up fairly quick again then, right? It'd just be more, ooh, mousey's been in here. Be a little more speed wise, right? That's what I'm sort of after. So I guess that might still kind of close there. And I'll take this, uh, take this off for now. Oh, let's just give her one more check. I brought my cord out just in case I got to move her later. I think we'll get most of the sun for most of the afternoon until it's way over here. But by the time it's over here, it's probably down below the house anyway. So being the time of year, right? 12.29, well, 2, 3. She's, she's definitely going up. Oh, going down there a bit now. That's a bit erratic. 12.24. But anyways, we'll come try her a little bit later on here. I'll take this inside with me for now. And uh, we'll try her later see if she'll start. Alright, she's just noon time right now. So we'll leave her until the kids maybe come home from school at like 3.30. That'll be probably it for the sun for the day. And uh, we'll, we'll see if she'll fire up then and uh, see if she cranks over any little bit more better. All right, she's just after one o'clock now, but about an hour after we started the uh, the Dewey there, 103. So we're just going to run outside and uh, do a little checkies here. You see what uh, voltage we're sitting at on that new on that battery. All right, here we go, and I want to try to touch it right to the battery. It's got a bit of rusty crap on the connector, so it's not giving me a really good Dewey there, but. Uh, There we go, 12.63, there we go. And then this is touching right onto the terminal, that's 12.7172. So she's juicing her. She's juicing her. Probably not much put into it really yet, but I'd like to see that up around 13, 14, but the thing is kind of sitting, well, actually not bad there right now there's a little bit of shade coming off those branches and crap there which is kind of screwing it up but that shouldn't be too much longer but uh, double check her here again 12.70 so. yeah that's pretty good that's pretty good so we'll let her sit another hour and we'll maybe uh, come out two o'clock again We'll check her again, and then uh, when the kids come home at 3.30, we'll see if we can fire it up. All right, we're just after two now. We're still getting pretty good sun on her there. It's not perfect, but uh, these trees are a little bit in the way, kind of blocking it a bit, but it'll still be getting pretty good. So yeah, just after two o'clock. Let's have a lucky see here now what we're getting. Twelve point nine three. That's pretty good. Let's get right on the battery here. Yeah, a little less, a little bit of resistance there, I guess. Yeah, so twelve point nine two nine. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So the longer you leave it, I guess the more she'll she'll be juicing her too, right? So another hour and a bit <clears throat> when the kids get home on the bus, and then uh, we'll see uh, what she's uh, what she's got then, and we'll uh, see if she'll fire up. So I was curious what amperage that is, and it says it's got a 7 amp charge controller, so that would be maximum, I guess. So if that's putting 7 amp in that battery, that's just juice in her, so she should be maybe hopefully good. I don't know. We'll try her. Well, 20 after 3. I've got no sun really, full sun on the uh, the panel of the van or anything now. She's kind of getting up behind the everything there, so anyways, let's do one more check. We'll unhook her and uh, see what we're getting here. All right, let's touch her to the dewey. Yeah, it's down a little bit now because it's not full sun. So 12.49, and uh, if I can get it right on the battery. Come on, baby. Yeah, it's about the same. All right, let's unhook her and uh, give her a little crank and see what happens. 
All right, so we're either really out of gas <laughs> or just screwed up. Let's see what happens. Look at that. Charged her up from three hours, ready to rock. Holy crap, that is freaking awesome. I'm gonna maybe let her run a minute, just juice her up again here, see what she's putting out now. Oh, she's getting real good charged now, almost 15. I'll probably be 15 if I get the, the Dewey's really clean. That's not too bad. All right, we're gonna plunk this fella on here too on the old Jeep. So right now without her hooked up, we're getting 12.13. So it's not really not too bad. Let's stuff that on there. Yeah, it says it's charging. Uh, it's not gone up a tremendous amount, but it slowly will I guess unless it's a bad dewy over here uh, 12.18 12.19 I'll let her sit for a wee little bit there and uh, she's getting pretty good sun right now right there pretty good direct sun there so I'll let her sit and uh, see what she's going to do for us 12.21 now I'll probably leave that till tomorrow, though I won't likely uh, mess around with any more of that today. The sun's almost gone, so let her, let her charge up maybe most of the day tomorrow, and we'll check her check her later, although I won't really be here tomorrow. <laughs> I'm sure we'll check her Sunday or something. Maybe we'll check her Sunday and see what it's done. It's kind of in the middle of the open there, so if she bursts into flames, that's just all fine and dandy. So, but anyways, uh, that's probably going to be it for today. we got to get rocking. we got to head over to uh, Guelph this afternoon. Wife wants to go to the uh, knitting store and stuff, so <sighs> oh well, let the van run, maybe get up to temp and shut her down, and then she should be good. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching today, and uh, so uh, yeah, my ultimate plan was to um, put the solar panels up on the roof of the uh, the new shed here, right? And uh, hooking them all together into one dewey, charging a battery that'll be hooked to my. Uh, which I'm gonna call it uh, inverter dewey. So you can see up there, or even on, well, this isn't gonna probably be here for too much longer, but the trouble with uh, that roof there, the big one, these trees here kind of shrattering it out a bit now, but uh, a, little, a little bit more full sun all day on that one. So I'm not sure yet. We'll see what's gonna be the best. I'll have to keep an eye on it, you know, see where the sun's sitting most of the time and stuff and uh, yeah so yeah basically what I wanted to do was hook those up for um, charging a battery in the new shed there so I could hook my inverter onto that and then basically uh, set up like a lighting system so when we're in there when it's dark you can just flick the light on between on comes your lights right so you know it's better than running a cable out from the house it's kind of sort of free energy in a way kind of sort of not really but kind of sort of is you know and uh, yeah but anyways that's it for today. Don't know where the light is. There we go. <laughs> and uh, it's today, Friday. Farm Sim Saturday tomorrow. Uh, we just revisited an old map. I couldn't find something I liked. So, but anyways, um, she was a pretty good one. But anyways, uh, have a good night. Thanks for watching again today, and we'll catch you. Uh, probably gonna be Sunday or something. We'll see. I'm not too sure yet. Forgot to mention another thing I wanted to do with one of these panels was. Uh, hook it up somehow where you could hook a couple of leads on a couple of deweys in the shed thingy there and uh, be able to hook a couple of leads from those deweys like mounted on the wall say mount that into your battery on you know, like say your four wheel or something so you could just have her juiced and charging all the time and it'll keep it all juiced up for you right so yeah but uh, anyways that's it talk at you later have a good night thanks for watching